Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome back to my Williams RTG career mode. Here today for part 13 at the Canadian Grand Prix. The best track on the Formula 1 calendar in my opinion. If you're going to enjoy this video, why not um, like it, subscribe if you want to see more like this. But enough of the rambling, let's get into it then. So we're into qualifying. We're coming towards the end of our last run. As we were just about as well get a second run in. We're currently down in 18th as you can see. Flying through the final chicane. We are up by quite a bit across the line. It's only 13th. But we will be able to go again. But we've gone very deep. And we've backed right off. But as we skip on to the end of the lap you can see we've dropped back down to 16th place so we're going to be starting at the back I'm quick around Canada though so we might be able to do something in the race because we're starting down at the back I decided to take and um, change up ending engine components because why not we might as well so let's get into the race then for the Canadian Grand Prix. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Norris, Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, and Lance Stroll, Sonoda, Ocon, and Guan Yu Zhou, and Giovinazzi. Mick Schumacher, Gasly, they've taken a grid penalty. Kimi Raikkonen and Nikita Mazepin. Russell and Brown. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. So we're going to be doing an aggressive towards the end of the race. So we're starting on the mediums and going soft, soft at the end when people will be going on to the mediums to try and eat them out towards the end of the race. It might hurt us at the start, but at the end we're going to be quick. There's the five red lights, come on. We're out and we're underway here in Canada. It's a good start by Valtteri Bottas being his teammate down into turn one. We're going to be a little bit cautious, in fact. We get past Nikita Mazepin. We're going to try and go right round the outside of... Kimi Raikkonen and George Russell couldn't do that but we're just about alongside Kimi Raikkonen and we're going to sail around the outside of Kimi Raikkonen in his Alfa Romeo now we've got a teammate in front but not for long as we go down the inside of George Russell into the second chicane and next up is Mick Schumacher in the Haas we need to clear him quick because that Haas is an absolute dog even in this second season of the career mode, it's still very slow, but he's got a little gap on us now. George is thinking about it, but we're going to send it down the inside of um, Mick Schumacher. Next up, though, is the Alphatari of Pierre Gasly. But Mick Schumacher may have another look at us here, but that house isn't that quick as there's battling ahead and we've gone, we've broke so late we've had to go through the escape road we've nearly hit the back of Pierre Gasly that was a bit like America last last season when we nearly hit George in the back if you remember that but we've lost our as George now gets past Mick Schumacher and now we need to get our head down, regroup and get on with our race that was that was a heart in mouth moment but as we get on I know I'm quick here in Canada we are now caught up to the back of Pierre Gasly later on in the lap can this time we have a look at him we're just a little bit too far back but we're gonna set him up for turn one we've got a great exit coming out to the final chicane we're getting closer we're gonna go to the inside of Pierre Gasly and now we're up one more place in to P15 
Next up is Giovinazzi in the other Alfa Romeo. But Pierre Gasly is not having it because he's going to try and get back at us. There's nearly contact again and we go off the track again. But we stay ahead of Pierre Gasly. I think if that's real life we probably have to give him the position back. But the game isn't that smart. So we live to fight another day and we stay ahead of Pierre Gasly. And now we can continue to try and hunt down Giovinazzi for 14th. And we are very close. Are we going to send it down the inside? Yes, we are. That's a sensational move. We've just pulled off there, if I do say so myself. Very late. How did we not make contact? So I'm a bit like a magnet so far. Next up is the two Haas, two Alpines. This is a Reaper limb. We're getting closer closer and look at that very close maybe 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 cut the corner just a little bit just only a, only a touch but we can deal with that as we skip on now and we're on the back of Vesta Van Ocon we thought about it down the inside we've gone a little bit deep but that allows us to open up the corner on the exit and hopefully get a better run down into the final again but Ocon is going to get DRS off his teammate, I think. Ocon really goes aggressive to the inside. So we're going to go round the outside of Esteban Ocon. You're not blocking me, mate. That's not happening. Very aggressive by Esteban Ocon. And now we're going to go down the inside of Guan Yu Zhou. Now we're going to have the outside line. We can't quite get the exit. We're side by side. And we got Guan Yu Zhou up. Yes, we have. We have got the Chinese driver. Of course, he's coming into Formula 1 next season in real life, driving for Alfa Romeo. But he's with Alpine in this one. And we've managed to now pull away from those two. Next up the road is Yuki Tsunoda, but unfortunately, we kind of got stuck in no man's land now. Because... We weren't really gaining on Sonoda, but we'd pulled massively on the two Alpines as the leaders on lap 8 come into the pits, onto the mediums, goes Valtteri Bottas, so does Max Verstappen. And now we're battling, and that's a big engine failure. Valtteri Bottas, who was leading the race, is now out of the race. Valtteri Bottas engine has gone bang that mercedes power unit probably the one of the most efficient power units has given up and foundry bottas is out of the grand prix and with everyone pitting we're obviously going long on our mediums we are currently leading the race but not for that long as lewis hamilton we let him go because we're, we're a pit stop behind Lando Norris as well is um, Daniel Ricardo sorry is behind us now so Ricardo is all over the back of us here he's, he's these are um, a lap ahead through goes Daniel Ricardo now Max is behind us I'm not going to make it easy for him it's down into the chicane and he locks a big lock up from Max Verstappen and now he, he gets our DRS we are going to get a DRS day off of Daniel Ricciardo's and that's not helpful for um, Max Verstappen's race and we fend him off into the final chicane as we then have a massive massive oversteer moment and Max now is going to send it down the inside and get the job done on us now a couple of laps Ricardo and Hamilton have pitted again and now Sebastian Vettel is behind us and gets pa past us and into P2 and skipping on one more lap lap 16 we are finally into the pits to make our first stop of the day going on to the soft compound tyres 
and uh, we'll see what these tyres can do. So we were also, we were battling the likes of the Alpines and the Alfa Tauris, the, um, and the Alfa Romeos. This is who we were fighting at the time. We managed to pull away and we do just, just beat them out. And now they're all on the mediums and we have the car and we have the pace to get away. But Lando Norris has an issue and Lando Norris is out of the Canadian Grand Prix. He's en it looks like his engine's gone as well, just like Bottas. And now we're battling away with Sebastian Vettel who swoops round the outside. We're not giving up on him though. Side by side, going down into in the hairpin. We're going to force Vettel the long way round. We have a bit of oversteer and we he gets it past the Aston Martin. Oh, we must have lost concentration there and nearly put it in the wall. It's through the chicane. We go, and now through goes Sebastian Vettel. That Aston Martin, way too quick for us. As now, down into the chicane, into the hairpin, rather. We haven't got that far up the road yet. And on lap 25, we were just on our own here. We're going to come into the pits to make our second and final stop of the day. On to another set of the mediums. On to another set of the soft, sorry. And we will see what we can do for the rest of the race. Currently sitting just inside the top 10. So we shall see what we can do. Now though, coming out of the pits, long way clear of Giovinazzi, and we've got Sonoda up the road, who I was saying earlier on in the race, we were kind of in no man's land. All the way though, on to lap 34, we were just pounding round all on our own, no one really near us, but Max Verstappen is going to come through the final chicane, and he is going to win the Canadian Grand Prix for the first time in his career, I believe. And it's going to be a double Aston Martin podium. What a result. Vettel back-to-back -back podiums. Stroll on the podium for the first time at his home Grand Prix. And there goes the two Alpha Tauris. And we are going to come through the final chicane. And we're going to take the final point for P10 in Canada. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Another fantastic victory for Red Bull today. Anthony Davidson. How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. So it's a great race for Aston Martin, good race for Max in terms of the championship I believe as well. But as, just from the side of the points, I think it's as far as the car I've got, you can see George now. Um, Travis the car having a bit of an issue, not sure what happened to him. Of course the two DNFs as well, that kind of helped us in, in getting inside the top 10. And we're nearly inside the top 10 in the standings as well. It's been a bit of a slow start to the season so far. But we'll see what we can do. 
going into the next races. That was a pretty decent race. We picked up points. I think P10 was probably the best we could have got out of the car. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like if you and subscribe if you want to see more Williams Road to Glory career mode. I believe it is the British Grand Prix next. So I will see you at Silverstone and goodbye.